The simplest type of app is one that displays information, but you can also let users add and edit data. When you configure a detail screen, you can add many different components. Some components display data and others allow users to edit data. Entry components will always allow users to enter data. In other words, if we add a text entry component and connect it to a column in our table, any user that can see that component will be able to edit the data. However, we can configure our detail screen with non-editable components and then trigger a separate edit screen where we allow users to edit data through entry components. To enable the edit screen, we'll navigate to any detail screen in our list, click the edit tab and allow editing. When we click the edit button in our app, two things happen. Firstly, the app preview changes to show us the edit page. Secondly, the components panel on the left changes to show a new set of components. These are our edit screen components. This is a completely separate set of components to our detail screen. Glide will add these edit screen components automatically based on the columns in our table, but we can customize these to change what data can be edited. If we want users to only be able to edit certain columns, we can delete some components from our list. For example, if we delete the text field, which is bound to the title column, Users won't be able to edit that column, but can still change the other data. There are different types of entry components. For example, we might want to add an image picker or a signature component. We can also display non-editable components in an edit screen. You might want to do this if you need to provide instructions or information to your users while they're in that edit screen. It's also important to note that you can enable editing for each list, so you can allow users to edit certain lists and not others. If we want users to be able to add entire list items, then we can enable adding on a list. When we enable adding, users can add data to our table. Like allow editing, Add item is list specific, so we can enable adding for some lists and not others. Adding an item brings up the add item component list that we can structure independently from the edit item component list. A useful thing that we can do on add screens is to mark certain entry components as required to make sure that the data is entered and not left blank. Similarly to editing, we can give users access to only certain columns when they add items. For example, if we want to allow users to add places to visit in a city guide app, but don't want them to be able to choose a category for their submissions, we can make sure that the category column is not bound to an add screen component.